If you're an Atari Lynx owner, you'll know there are piles of great games for the system. As a gamer, these piles can be an itch that you just can't scratch. But now we have a way to deal with those itchy piles. We can itch them. Right now. Mark Fixes Stuff This video is kindly sponsored by PCBWay. You can get an instant quote by simply uploading your PCB files, or you can select from a variety of talented designers PCBs, add them to your cart and have them delivered directly to your door. Hey Mr Block, can I go to the bathroom? Two minutes. You don't need to be a budding superhero to know that the Atari Lynx made a big impact on the handheld gaming market. Not only was it groundbreaking for being the first ever colour handheld featuring 4096 colours and rudimentary scaling, but it allowed you to plug the AC adapter into the toilet. Introducing Lynx from Atari, the colour video game you can get away with. Well, sometimes. The Lynx was released in 1989 in the USA and in 1990 it came to European shores. In 1991, the slimmer, sexier Lynx 2 was released. There was a huge plethora of games taking advantage of the advanced features of the console. Some are absolute classics that are hard to come by now. So, how do you play the games that are almost unobtainable? And the answer comes from Ben Venn in the form of the El Cheapo SD. This is a review sample, but it still looks very nice. The back of the cart is a striking purple colour with the cart contacts well plated at the bottom. I don't have any nails, so I'm going to use my stiff tool to push into the slot. The cart provided has a lot of homebrew, freeware games and demos. But let's be honest for a moment. We're only here for one thing. Rums. In order to get a heady blend of rums, we need to ensure our SD card is formatted as FAT32. We don't need a large card. All commercial rums combined are less than 25 megabytes. The rums are usually in a Lynx format, LNX. Next we can pop over to Ben Ben's site to say G'day. He has instructions on the setup of the card. We need to add boot.bin to the root of the card. We can download it directly here. My first test is if it will fit into the rear socket of my Lynx 1. I'm a bit worried that this bulge might be too big for the slot, but it slips in easily with no complaints. Popping the power plug, Toby Maguire style, and pressing the power button gives us the insert game screen. Now here is a serious warning. The first time you start the cart, it will need to build the file structure and until it's ready, you'll see the insert game message. Do not power off or remove the card or it may brick the El Cheap OSD, meaning it will need to be returned to be reprogrammed. Once the initial file structure is built, the card will work instantaneously afterwards unless you change the SD card. There's really not a lot to the menu. Up and down to select a rum and A to drink it. I mean, to start it. Games copy from the cart to the internal RAM of the console. It takes a couple of seconds. Let's power this off. I don't want to use the Lynx one. The screen is naff. Instead, let's use this Lynx 2. This one's special because it has a new LCD screen, also by Ben Venn. Link to my installation video below. Mood lighting engaged. My kind patrons have requested these test games. You can become a patron yourself at patreon.com forward slash stuff. Packland is an arcade classic hailing all the way back from 1984. In its 1991 incarnation on the Atari Lynx, it doesn't lose any of its playability. As you would expect, the rums play exactly like the original carts. It turns out I'm dreadful at all games. Chips Challenge is another classic that plays perfectly. 
Blue Lightning runs without a hitch and looks great on the new screen as well. And those Double Dragon thugs are still up to their nasty violent nicker flashing crimes as per usual. But luckily revenge is violently served. Electro Cop remains mind-bogglingly hard to figure out. A car like this will also give you access to unreleased games like Alien vs Predator. Although unfinished, it shows just how powerful the console was. Going through the whole list, I could not find anything that wouldn't load. But what do I think? Well, the cartridge does exactly what you would want or expect. There's no frills, but it is called the El Cheapo. Looks-wise, it's obviously a 3D print. The friction marks on the shell will worsen with insertions. The cars for sale come in a kind of candy store vomit style. I like it. The board is still naturally exposed. So final verdict, thumbs up. I like it and you should get one. And treat your links to a better screen at the same time. Link to my video on that below. Big thanks to Ben Venn for sending the card and to PCB Wave for sponsoring my videos. Huge appreciation for my Patreon supporters. You make these videos possible. If you're able to help, please click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching my video. Perhaps you'd like to see more. Here you go, I'll put some on the screen for you. Bye!